love the hat. Congratulations on the win. You must be over the moon right now. Apart from the lactic and all that that's building up in your body. Yo, I got to the <laughs> I got to about 300, 320, and I got hit with the most amount of lactic I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But you was moving through that 320 though, so that's probably what it was. That was. I've never, I've never been hit like that in my life. I've never, I've never had lactic that, like that in my life. That was different, but at the end of the day, it's just about the victory. But that was the most painful victory <laughs> I've ever had in my life. I, I was. That's good, man. That's digging deep. That's what it takes. It's, you know what I mean? If you want to be a champion, top of the podium, that that pain there is gonna, you're gonna experience that again. So you must be glad to have got it out of the way. European champion. How does that sound? Yeah, it feels good. Uh, I came out here just to get the victory. Got the victory. It's all that matters. Uh, it's a scrappy win, but I did it. It didn't look scrappy, mate. It looked dominant. <laughs> it looked like, I'll be honest, in the semi-final, I thought it'd be stupid to bet on anyone else. That's how good you looked. Did you feel that good, though? Yeah, so <laughs> the semi-final, uh, yeah, I could have dropped something stupid, but <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, just get through the line. Um, yeah, I just, end of the day, me and my coach were talking. Coach Brownman, we're like, just get the win. Times will come. It's just a matter about winning, about the victory. That was the most painful victory I've ever had in my life. I don't think any, like, I'm not, I'm not one to get lactic. So when I got lactic, that, that honestly confused me. If you ever saw the replay, you could probably see about 350. I was like, what the hell is this? Um, some of the build on for the future. Yeah, I'm happy. Tell me about what you expected from yourself coming in. You talked about the win, but tell me about, because um, I know you switched training groups and stuff like that you've things are a bit different for you for now so what did you expect the coach expected me just to uh, he said just win he said you're gonna drop a bomb uh, when coach Brown says you're gonna run quick you're gonna run quick I think there's a lot of mistakes that happen in that race and there's a lot of things to work on so from now from now till end of the season I'm gonna work on a lot of things I know where I can improve now it's just about fine tuning. I'm going for times now. I've got the victory. Now it's just about times. And you seem to be operating with a different level of belief in, your, in yourself. What's brought that about? Uh, the environment that I'm in. I have the best coach in the world. That's it. Best coach in the world. When he says you're ready, you're ready. I came here and he gave me the belief that I'm one of the best in the world. And when you have people like Coach Brownman, Noah Lyles, uh, Sean A. Tyson, like everyone in the camp. I have the best I have the best group in the world, I have the best coach in the world, the best setup. Why not? So you're inspired, you're falling back in love with the sport, right? There's things to do now, isn't it? Yeah, I, last year I hated it. I hated the sport. I, I quit like so many times. The only reason why I was in it because my mum was like, what the hell? What, what else would you have done? So I was like, that's true. <laughs> so Mum knows, bro. She knows in it, so. Well, listen, I, I'm glad you're in the sport. I think you're a stupendous talent, and I think your coach sees it as well. I've always said that to my cameraman. I think you're special. You could be the one. So whatever you do, carry on. You hear what I'm saying? And congratulations today. It's a big win. Now, I want this four-year cycle to be, be nothing but Matthew Hudson on the podium. Yeah, definitely. Champion like Christine. <laughs>